Third matchup will begin in just a few moments as the two are just warming up as you can see. Vladimir Samsonov and Joao Geraldo will be taking each other on to determine which of these two will give their teams the one game advantage. In the first leg, Samsonov did not take the table, or the court, whatever you want to describe as the playing field being. And Geraldo took on Freitas, and that one was a real squeaky squeaker. Freitas took that one 3-1 to one in the end. But it was still a competitive 30-ish minutes of table tennis. And we'll see if the vet can take on Geraldo here and prevail as his teammate did just a few weeks ago on the 8th of March. A quick start to the affair, and the first point is awarded. Aldo moving quickly, earning himself a follow-up, 1-1. Samsonov hailing from Belarus. Born in 1976, he is the oldest player taking the court today. His counterpart, Geraldo, 1995, the youngest player in this semifinal. So the old guard against new. And currently, Geraldo ranked in the top 120. Samsonov. 20th. But the youngster still has time to develop and climb up the ranks. And get ourselves a lefty on righty battle. And you can see the youth of Hanalo really on display there as he's able to move across the table quickly and effectively. Samsonov going to get his opponent to do exactly that. Move from side to side, force him to expend some energy there. Get him off balance. It worked this time around. for that cheeky flip onto the left end of the table. Three point advantage for Joao Geraldo. Make it four as that one is smashed across. Little to no chance for Samsonov. The reaction times there would have been ungodly.
the Russian player decides to go for power. It pays off. Gap cut down once more. Straight into the body, tough one to react to. Two straight for Samsonov, that cuts it down to just one point in favor of Geraldo now. Wiley veteran gets the point all square at nine with two to decide this first one. Gazprom side bouncing back extremely well after the opening game lost by Ovchov, one that which many would have predicted would have been the one clear victory really. Apeshon the German on his heels and made him pay for any and every mistakes, mistake that was committed. Yeah. Freight has took control of the second game against Lundqvist and now Samsonov bouncing back after a bit of a shaky start here against Geraldo. He's got the advantage and the gap to take this first one just a point away. Squared up two for either side in a row that is needed to take this first set. Geraldo <laughs> Certainly vocalizing his enthusiasm and feeling for the game after every point. Perhaps a bit of psychological warfare, and that remains to be seen. Squared up once more, but at the same time, these points are big, big business, and if you can get one, that is certainly something to cheer about, as both sides are doing just that. Slow bouncer and Samsonov the advantage now. 12-11, Geraldo will take this one to the table. Well, that low slow bouncer really caught Geraldo off guard. The Portuguese player just could not deal with it in an effective manner. Forced him to send a slow lob through. Samsonov on the back foot, and Geraldo extends this one to another two points minimum. Time taken, and why not? It's been quite an opener here in our third matchup. Looks like Samsonov had him on the back foot for a moment, but the tables turn. Gazprom now with the serve. Advantage to Geraldo. Samsonov can't get that one to fall the way he wanted it to. Serve with the Portuguese player, and he can take this one. Yeah! 
And a beautiful finish there. First one heading over towards Via Sangers on the French side. Get themselves a slim lead here. 50 seconds to talk it over, calm the nerves a bit, uh, get the game plan set for the next meeting. Samsonov has been a, a real stable figure in the table tennis world for quite some time. And it's no wonder that uh, he is seen as somewhat of a role model for many players. And when you're given a nickname like the Tai Chi Master, my uh, many, many Chinese players and fans of the sport, then well, you certainly have a little bit of oomph to back it up. As he earns the opening point in this one. player to have been in the top 10 for longer than Samsonov is Jan Ove Wagner. And that's no easy feat either. Sitting in 20th at the age of 42 is nothing to scoff at either with so many young players up and coming with the reflexes, the reactions. But this man is still practically at the top of the world, or at least near the top of the world, for such a long time is absolutely unreal. Earns himself a point here. Two-point advantage now. I'd love to spout out all kinds of cool and uh, well-known information about Geraldo, but the problem is, or problem, well, he simply does not have the age behind him at the moment. One notable tidbit of information worth mentioning I already have was the two gold medals in 2014 and 15 in the European Games and Championships at the Portuguese side. Other than that, he has a lot to learn and grow from, and he's getting a lesson in person from one of the best of all time. Backhand not falling for Samsonov that time around. Square at five. And Haldo holding his own.
Games can swing here and there, like the first one with Avcharov losing to Jens Lundqvist, but overall, if you put these two up against each other ten times, Samsonov probably comes out on top, the majority. Geraldo almost had it, Samsonov receives a big cheer from the crowd and why not? He was in control of that rally, but he still had to put the balls in a place where only he could. 7-5 in his favor. And Geraldo still getting some support from the coach there as that was no easy task to retrieve and send those back. He certainly has the stamina to keep it up. Being 24 years of age. Rado not too happy with himself after that one. Gap cut down to one point. Or to two, rather. Opened up rather than cut. Either way, you know what I mean. 6-9 now. Samsonov looking to close this one out. On the cusp of equalizing this one. Samsonov will return. Forces his opponent into a mistake, and that's how Mr. ECL does it. For those not too familiar with the history of. Vladimir Samsonov. Well, he's participated in the Champions League practically every year that it has been around. And he has won it 12 times, which is simply outstanding. Looking for a 13th ECL victory. If his team can get past their opponents today and then prevail in the final but one step at a time of course regardless another top four finish under his belt that's simply a testament to just how long of a peak this man has had always seems to be in the mix of things and some kind of contention the only downside you can see to his career the lack of Olympic triumphs but you can chalk that down to a couple things <laughs> 2 nothing gap opened up now for Samsonov well number one in the Olympics it's not just about the individual play it's about the teams 
where you're drawn, who you go up against. And although he may be one of the greatest t table tennis players to ever grace the screen, as is the case, or the eyes if you're here in person, There's a reason why certain countries are more successful at certain sports than others. And Belarus does not have a large amount of top-ranked table tennis players. Aldo doing a valiant effort there to get himself a point on the board. 3-2 now. Samsonov with the serve. him there with a real clever bouncer. Geraldo just seemed to have all day to pick what he wanted to do, but sometimes all that time in the world it just doesn't let you do what you want to do as we take another look at it. Now, although Samsonov has not won anything in the Olympics as of yet, the World Cup is a different story. And that is all about the individual as its singles. Last time he won it was in 2009 in Moscow. And that was essentially the heyday of Samsonov. He won in 1999, 2001, and then a bit of a gap to 2009, but during that time he has certainly been nothing to scoff at, certainly not now, even at the age of 42. Looking back towards the team, certainly not their fault. Earns himself a point now, 6-4. But has certainly lost some of that oomph and cheering he had earlier. Let's see if he can pick it up again. Absolutely beautiful. Look at how low that thing gets. There was a chance for a return there from the Portuguese player. But it was a tough scenario. Some of the confidence from the Portuguese player as he smacks that one across, earns himself one on the board and one closer towards his opponent. The swing set here. A couple of rollers off the net for each side. In the end, Geraldo gets unlucky with this final. 
as it cut a bit too much of the center of the of the net and Miles didn't fall for him as he would have hoped. And just caught that one poorly was Geraldo and he is disappointed in himself. Could have kept that one going a little longer. Credit to Samsonov for being in the right place, right time, and forcing the Portuguese player onto his weaker side. Pivotal point here. Ronaldo gets that one with some enthusiasm to boot. That's what he needs, a little confidence. And three more to put himself in an advantageous situation. Three unanswered, that is. Tried to flick it, didn't work that time. Samsonov going to take a timeout as well. Wants a few seconds to catch his composure. The wily veteran using all the tricks in the book. Now the reason the result was so surprising in the first leg was Ofcharov just two years ago. It was the winner of the men's singles in the World Cup. He beat fellow German Timo Boll, who ended up also taking second the year following. But the two of them have been a staple in at least the top five, six, for about nine years running now in the World Cup. Unfortunately for them, their team performance hasn't been quite as stellar. <laughs> On the cusp now for Samsonov. One will do it and give him an advantage to one. Cut down just one to make this an extended affair. This one let go the distance. Samsonov needs one to make this 2 1. And he does just that. <laughs> Terrific response to the serve. Got him quickly and closely. And Geraldo not too pleased with that one. Samsonov gets the cheer from the crowd. He's still got to do a little bit more battling. Geraldo certainly a bit disappointed with that performance. And to give you a bit of perspective, the first major championship that Samsonov placed well in, and that would be the World Championships in 1995 in Tianjin, China, 
in doubles earned silver. That was the year that Haldo was born. And so since that 1995 season, well, Samsonov had already been playing for at least 10, 15 years, considering that he started at a very young age, I believe four or five years old. I do know that Petkevich has been his coach practically his entire career. And that started when Samsonov was quite young. So although Geraldo may feel a bit uh, disappointed in some of these sequences, at the same time he's got to know he is essentially playing against someone that has been playing, not essentially, he has been playing against someone that has played the sport longer than he has been alive. Couple of rollers off the net. Ronaldo gets himself a point. Square at two. We'll see if he can make himself a little bit of a comeback here. Knock this up at two apiece. Force us into a fifth. Off the net. Unfortunate bounce for him. Fortunate for Samsonov, though. one back and forth other side a clear with a clear advantage Andre waiting now for his time to shine we'll see if the reserves are called on Back and forth we go once more. Points exchanged for either side. Poor angle there for Samsonov. Credit to the Portuguese player to put that in a position where it's difficult. Caught that one a bit too high, it seemed. A little close to the body. An advantage. A one-point advantage going to the Anger side. The flicks on the backhand work well there. Rocketing them right back across with some speed. And following it up with a straight forehand. To get a little bit of that outside curve. Force it towards the corner. On the edge of the table. First two point gap. Ronaldo having a couple issues retrieving those that come close to his body and, and no surprise those are the toughest ones to reach and get your paddle around. But when he's able to get those quick backhand flicks off it is a tough case for anyone to deal with. They just have that little bit of deceptive spin on them. Now, coupled with some speed as well. 7-5, two-point gap still in play. Samsonov keeps him off balance and almost teeters Geraldo down towards the floor. The footwork foot was there. But he just caught him going close to the table and then powers it back. Forces him to shift weight in an uncomfortable way and hence the off balance and 
and poor accuracy on the return. Once again, catches him going one way, sleeping the other. Keeping it close, keeping it close, then out of nowhere. Just perfectly placed onto the opposite corner. Not much you are going to do about that. 7-7 seven, seven now. Caught a bit awkwardly. Perhaps on the side of the blade. We'll take another look at it, and indeed, towards the outer corners, may have even hopped up onto the, the non-rubberized sides of the blade. Two in a row means that two-point gap is opened up once more. All right, the two in a row for Samsonov means that it's been closed. I'm going to stay there. I think my names and numbers mixed up. A swing and a miss. 9-8 in favor of Vladimir. Closing in on putting this one to bed. Another swing and another miss. Two up, two down, one to go for Samsonov to put this one in his back pocket. Caught him with the off speed, all that backspin. Trots away calmly. No need to yell and scream. He knows what he's done. He knows what's what he's up against as well. That's his opponent though. Belarusian Masters serve. Can't get that one to fly his way. You saw the spin. He wanted to place it close to the body once more. Just caught it a bit on the updraft. Still has a chance to end it here, but only one point. Serve once again with Vladimir Samsonov. Decides, powers the way to go, and that'll do it. A stellar performance from Geraldo. He did what he could. He kept it close. He got himself a one on the board, but in the end, Vladimir Samsonov will take that one. Much to the avail of the crowd. And there's really not much that can be said about him. Well, much more than I have. You can say a whole lot about him. Earns his team a terrific victory. Of course, that was the closest, as you see, 14-12 there. The rest still within a couple points. Just if one had gone Geraldo's way, things could have swung differently. Well, that's just the way 